Now, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, Naseni Khalil Suleiman Halilu, says the engineering profession is witnessing a paradigm shift to correct gender imbalance in Nigeria. This came to the fore during the unveiling of a program tagged Developing Engineering Leaders through its Delta a project of the Presidential Implementation Committee on Technology Transfer and Naseni aimed at adv advancing the role of women in engineering. Ibrahim Bello Gunda has the story. Developing Engineering Leaders through her is an initiative that seeks to create opportunities for women in engineering by supporting their innovation as well as mentoring and developing their ideas into start-up companies. Chairman Presidential Implementation Committee on Technology Transfer, Dr. Mohamed Dahiru, and the Chief Executive Officer of Naseni, Khalil Suleiman, stated that the choice of International Women's Day to launch the program is deliberate as it seeks to improve Nigerian women participation in engineering profession, rated at 5% against global average of 28%. They believe the success of the first phase will be projected to spur school age girls across the country to favor their choice of engineering as a lifetime career. Today's call for proposal from young women marks the beginning of a chain of events which are expected to lead to engineering startup companies owned and run by women. Speakers highlighted how the initiative will address existing gender imbalance in the study and practice of engineering in Nigeria by inspiring the next generation of female engineers. We must ensure that we give credit to our women. We must ensure that we remove cultural biases and let the women take their rightful places. Offer a very great platform to nurture and empower women engineers, providing them with the skills, mentorship and support they need to thrive in their careers. Delta Her program will commence online on Saturday 9th March for qualified female engineers to showcase their innovation and ideas in Abuja. Ibrahim Bellogunda, NT News. All right. To talk more on this uh, project of Nasani that is Delta, we have with us in the studio the Vice Chairman of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, Mr. Khalil Halilu. Now, Mr. Khalil, you're welcome to our studio. Welcome and uh, happy International Women's Day. Thank you very much. Now, uh, we want you to tell us... Uh, some more details, give us more details about this new project of Naseni, that is the Delta project and what it aims to achieve. Well, it is no longer news that uh, Naseni is going through a complete uh, transformation uh, where we intend to bring our researches and prototypes into uh, you know, commercial products and also give opportunities uh, to small and medium enterprises uh, you know, across uh, the nation. Uh, just two weeks ago, we had a Senate committee on Naseni visited us, you know, to see how we're doing. And uh, as promised last year, I was uh, here in NTA, we promised we're going to launch products first quarter of this year. And uh, we've launched, uh, you know, three products uh, from the electric uh, Kekena PEP to solar home systems and uh, also uh, irrigation, uh, solar irrigation equipment to support Mr. President uh, uh, Irrigate Nigeria uh, project, which is part of the Renewed Hope Agenda. Uh, and today we launched uh, the Delta program, which is uh, developing engineering leaders through her, uh, in an effort, you know, to encourage more girls and women uh, in engineering. Uh, currently, if you are talking about world world uh, standard or um, world average, you know, in terms of number of women in engineering, is about 28 uh, percent, while in Nigeria is just 5 percent. Uh, this is completely uh, unacceptable, and we are, you know, carving uh, out resources to deliberately give opportunities for girls and women uh, to showcase their ideas, to showcase their product, to see how we can support them with seed capital, ideas, uh, uh, mentors, to ensure that uh, you know, these products go to market, uh, which is our new uh, direction uh, in the new Naseni. All right. Looking at um, these new projects, which are meant to ensure uh, more women are brought into the engineering ecosystem and uh, ensuring that their ideas are also amplified. So how do you intend to push for this uh, program to ensure that it makes the desired impact? Well, first of all, uh, 
we have to give them an unfair advantage. Uh, we don't want to mix them, uh, you know, with the rest of uh, people on the uh, or men on the terrain. Uh, so we've carved out resources, you know, that will uh, encourage uh, these ideas. From s ideas to st uh, startup stage to growth stage, we all have uh, funds that we've uh, carved out of our budget, you know, to support uh, their businesses. Uh, mind you, we also have uh, a new technology hub, uh, you know, coming up. Uh, the whole um, idea behind it is you have some, uh, you know, young people that have ideas. You hear, okay, in Casina, someone has built a generator running on on water, you know, and the likes. Uh, but it's one thing building, uh, you know, a prototype, and it's another thing taking it to market. So the whole uh, uh, idea behind this hub is to ensure that they get the right kind of support, they get the kind of mentors, uh, partners, uh, so that from uh, just one piece of uh, a product, they, they take it to prototype, perfect it, and then uh, scale it. It's similar to what we're doing uh, with the Presidential Implementation uh, Committee on Technology Transfer, which is a partnership between Nigeria and Czech Republic. Uh, this uh, uh, program has been floating uh, you know, for about uh, eight, year, eight years. And, uh, the first assignment Mr. President gave me when I assumed this duty is to ensure that uh, we kickstart this program. And it's already, uh, on, you know, on the, on the run. Uh, we have a lot of startups we've supported. And each of these startups have a counterpart that does similar or exactly the same thing in Czech Republic. And they're, you know, exchanging knowledge and we have started seeing products. And, uh, you know, before uh, media will scale them and you start seeing them in the market. The whole idea around, uh, you know, this new Naseni is we shouldn't keep our research, you know, on the shelves or our prototypes on the shelves. Uh, but we want it to have an economic impact. And, uh, of course, that is, uh, you know, one of the key things on the renewed hope agendas. So what we uh, Nigerians should be expecting, you know, uh, soon uh, this year is that uh, they will be able to consume Naseni products. We will have uh, showrooms across uh, the country, uh, from solar equipment uh, to irrigation equipment. Key things that will add value, uh, you know, to our economy. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're ready to play out that. So it's one thing to come up with projects and another to attract the interest for those who the programs are meant for, especially the women folks, since the intent is to ensure that they reach for the stars. Now, for how long will this project run? And what is the support that the Naseni has put in place to ensure that those that have interest also get the desired support? Well, our website is going on uh, live uh, tomorrow, you know, to call in for applications. For those that are interested, uh, you know, in sharing ideas or products that uh, requires uh, financial mentor, mentorship support, you know, uh, uh, production support and the likes. And uh, we have our criteria on the website. It is uh, delta.pict.gov.ng. Uh, and this program is going to run, you know, continuously, uh, you know, for at least five years. Uh, because our intention is to double the number of, uh, you know, women in engineering uh, in the next uh, five years of our uh, operations. Thank you, Mr. Halulu, for sharing those perspectives on the new project for female engineers in Naseni. Thank you. In other news.